From the 28-yard line, great field position to start. And Taylor Kelly, the quarterback, going to fire his first pass. Has a man open! And he's into the end zone, and it is a touchdown! And now Taylor Kelly with the second possession of the night. We'll have it from his own 22. Here goes Cameron Marshall. Cameron Marshall knifing through the... Establish a downhill running attack. And Marshall, look at those quads and legs. He's the guy that's going to have to show that presence. Easton... Because this Oregon defense can rush the pass. Second down and eight. The give is to DJ Foster. Foster inside the 30. He's got a third down and three. Pressure from the back. And Kelly is sacked. That is Deion Jordan. You look at him at the bottom of the screen. Passing situations, he will be a terror. You see him get off the ball, use his arms, bend around the corner. I get that. We want Oregon to get it back this quickly through Arizona State. DJ Foster is going to be stopped short of the first down. Scott, they might. Arizona State has to try to find a way to control the ball. Taylor Kelly, a lot of company, and now he's got a little bit of room if he's got the speed to get to the corner. He does to the 25, and he takes second and three. Cameron Marshall gets stuffed. And he got the undefeated. That's the big question. And your answer is? They don't. But their schedule, Oregon does not. If they went out, they're good. Taylor Kelly, whose last pass was his. Had a surprising Oregon State team. E.J. Foster, nothing. Taylor Hart was first there, third time. Now they balance <laughs> things out a bit. And Lacumbo now going back. 25's moving all over the place. Deion Jordan's after Kelly, but Taylor escapes. Being chased. Mm. Tries to throw it back into traffic, a dangerous throw and almost intercepted. Now we're going to drop, corners coming up, look at the safety come up in the box. Look at, they do such a great job of disguising everything they do. And that's why we said they can't be in predictable path. Kind of relaxing, and Oregon could relax, so chances are they won't because Chip Keller... There was the good drive and the missed field goal after that. And that ball is tipped into the air. That one's intercepted. Second interception of the night thrown by Kelly and Avery Patterson. Avery Patterson almost oh. had a pick six. He's so undisciplined right now. It's not because of penalties, but it's because of turnovers here. Taylor Kelly trying to fit this football into his tight end, Chris Coyle, but there's no window to throw into. Linebacker able to make a tip. Yeah, that's Tyler Coleman. Great job. He steps up to play run, sees the pass, drops back, touches it. And remember, Patterson filling in for John Boyette. I thought he was the Pac, you want to take the burger of the play-by-play? -play? <laughs> play. Put it in front of us and take care of it. Sam, too, by the way. Sam enjoys a good meal. Taylor Kelly slides for the first down. Sun Devils haven't converted a third down yet. Now they have. Cameron Marshall. Championship game for Auburn comes to mind for sure. The LSU defensive line is Kelly. Fires and it's complete up to the 50-yard line. It was a couple years ago in the National Championship game. They held Auburn to 22 points. Yeah. You know, I mean, which was a great Cam Newton offense that ran rough shot mm -hmm. through the air. have never looked like that. And the defense trying to stop a third and eight. And Deion Jordan with another sack. Mm -hmm putting 43 up in the first half against Arizona State. The Sun Devils fighting. The dangerous guy, Todd Graham, Mike Novell's offense. Bryce has a first down, running hard. Crosser is back. Back to Bryce. He'll get it into Ducks territory. And they'll end a little difficult environment. And that's the only game they've lost until tonight. Still a good start. The Todd Graham errors so far. Michael Clay, where he had his most success with three 10 win seasons. Kelly can't find anybody in a black shirt to throw the ball to. Paseco Lacumbo just knocks him out of bounds. One more in the column, but. Third and five. Taylor Kelly. Everybody talks about him being the fastest guy in the country, so I tried to bait him into saying that. No, he wasn't having it. Very humble, especially now that he's getting all this. I would do that if old women are coming up to you in class. I don't know what you do. Sign it. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs>
I mean, respect your elders. To impress a lot of voters in that game. It's about time. We need some more bandwagon jumpers on K-State and Oregon State. Because this is what I'm saying. Everybody that jumped off the Mike or the uh, Manny Diaz bandwagon, rightfully so this year, mm. they be jumping on the Mike Stoops bandwagon because he's been, he's been phenomenal. And Mike Stoops, after his run ended, it's down the road. Quarter getting underway here in Tempe, 43-7. Oregon with a comfortable lead. Taylor Kelly to Chris Coyle. And they haven't been back. Trust me, Oregon defensive coordinator Nick Aliotti not pleased about what is going on on this drive. He's them to play at the same level. Kelly just runs it out of bounds. I, I Michael Eubank, a guy that's going to see more snaps as the season goes on. Eubank pushes ahead to the 10. Baby Cam. I don't, I don't care if. First of all, nobody is built like that, runs like that, and throws like that. If he was, okay, here's a question. If he was I'm in principle, patient, okay, thank you. I agree with you in principle. I'm just David. telling you. So impatient up here. No, I'm just telling you. You watch this guy run the ball, and you watch Cam Newton run the ball. It's just, it's a smidge different. Not just call him he's, baby. He's not, he's not grown man Cam. Just call him he's baby. Just, he's freshman Cam. Well, let's see if he can get eight yards and keep this drive alive. He cannot. Instead, the ball is intercepted. And knocked out of bounds. They're going to yeah. score a lot of points. Defense is going to create turnovers. They, they play. They bring their air game. Michael Eubank returning. And pass. That's a tough order of business for the Wildcats. I, I, I want to see them stop somebody. I mean, how many points does K-State get this weekend? Hey, you know, the thing I would say, Jesse, <laughs> they've been around. I mean, my high school team might be able to put 30 up on them. Ooh. A Canadian high school team? Well, we, we, we have a bigger field. Okay. Underneath the coil. Y'all play with more or less players in the field. A little bit different, but it's not as if, you know, they're unaccustomed to seeing quick-paced, high-powered offenses in the Big 12. Eubank to coil. He'll strain ahead and pick up. Weapon for Oregon in that first half. Quarterback keeping it. Mariota showing you the wheels. Michael Eubank trying to show some wheels. Eubank. Time when you could power through it, Davey. That was back before you weighed 162 pounds. <laughs> oh, shots you should, have had, you, should, you should have had a bite of that burger. <laughs> Do a giant game at home next week against UCLA is huge. Bryce, you fly sweep. Evidence. He had a little, he had a little the left over, so he just put it in his beard. He wanted to get rid of the evidence. Eubank, coil. Pushed backwards. Two teams on different ends of the spectrum right now. They could have they, they could have possibly put up a C note on them tonight. They might have hit triple digits if they really wanted to. Mm. In the Rose Bowl. 49ers needed that bounce back after getting embarrassed at home 26-3 by the Giants. Big win for them. Eubank underneath. Ross and see if he can get in. Football's loose. Arizona State. You got to get it to them when they can get it. David, there are a few who think this is very important, whether they get it well, or not. I, no, I know that aspect, but that's, that's beyond the